Alexander Poniatov um, approached me. He said, uh, tell me about yourself and, and what you're interested in and things like that. And I did that. And he said, you know, I, I have a, an electronics company and I, I've just started manufacturing um, audio tape recorders, recorders, professional audio tape recorders. And I said, that sounds wonderful. Um, he said, would you like to see one of these tape recorders? And I said, I would, yes. He guided me through his facility, which was not very large, but uh, it was very well equipped with mechanical and electronic equipment. And he took me into his de demonstration room and showed me this tape recorder. It was the Ampex Model 200, about this high. It was beautiful, beautifully made mechanically, and uh, and it, it performed beautifully uh, electronically. I, I was uh, totally captivated by the sound that this this uh, new tape recorder was able to, to create. I had played with tape recorders and wire recorders uh, myself b before this time, but this was the first time that I had heard a a full frequency response, uh, low noise uh, recording being played. What made a difference? Well, the signal to noise ratio was excellent. Uh, the frequency response was excel excellent. Typical tape recorders uh, uh, had response up to just a few kilohertz. Uh, and this one uh, had flat response up to 15 kilohertz, and, and it went out to 18 or 20 kilohertz. And uh, it also had a low noise level, as, as low as, as uh, was uh, possible with the tapes of that time. And um, the wow and the flutter were virtually non-existent. So all, all these mechanical and electronic things work together to produce um, beautiful sound.